capacity, but not for another week yet. All right, WNR 2 News, Eddie Kadem joins us live right now. Baltimore City Community College's Liberty Campus. And Eddie, will Baltimore City continue to take a more cautious approach to easing restrictions than we're seeing in the surrounding areas? Yeah, that's right, Jamie and Kelly. We're not going to see 50% capacity until next Friday. That's March 26th, not this coming Friday. People are in line right now. This is a mass vaccination site where they are getting their Johnson & Johnson vaccine. And just a few minutes ago, uh, the mayor got his vaccine. Dr. Zariza, Zaraza, the city's health director, gave the mayor the Johnson & Johnson version of the vaccine, which of course will only require one shot. He said this is the right time because of where we are with our vaccine count, and he wants to show people that it's safe to get this vaccine. Maryland in phase 1C, meaning everyone 65 and older is eligible in a list of other people, including food manufacturers, grocery store, U.S. postal workers. So around 12 percent of the population in Maryland has now been vaccinated with over two million people receiving the vaccine. We've also seen a huge decrease in all measures of the coronavirus uh, count here in Baltimore City, and we're now averaging one death per day. When people get sick across this region and state, they end up in our hospitals, meaning that they are putting our residents who work in those hospitals at risk to COVID. We have to uh, have considerations beyond ourselves. And we know that the work that we've done has had an impact. And we now, all of us can see the end of COVID, but we have to stay the course, not be reckless, but also make sure that people are getting vaccinated. Trey? Of course, the restaurant and bar owners disappointed to hear this news with this busy weekend today being St. Patrick's Day. But Mayor Scott urging people to be responsible today and moving forward. Right now, over 100,000 people have received the vaccine in Baltimore City, including the people who are about to get it in this line behind me. That's one third of all adults over the age of 60 years old. Live at BCCC in West Baltimore, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News.